Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Brother, a technical support engineer from Informatica. In this video, we will discuss on how to create an archive entity uh, for Informatica data archive. Okay, let's go for today's agenda. In this video, we will see how to launch an EDM and create an archive entity. Okay, so let's see uh, one by one. Launch an EDM. We can either launch the EDM from ILM UI or we can also launch the EDM as a standalone EDM. Okay, so in this video, we'll launch the EDM from ILM UI and work on the uh, creating an archive entity. To launch the EDM ILM UI, uh, you need to log into ILM UI from the browser. Once you log in, go to Accelerator tab and click on Enterprise Data Manager, which will download a JNLP file run edm.jnlp and you need to click on that file to launch the edm Here you can see the edm is launched then we'll go for the next step next step is to create an archive entity <coughs> we will create an archive entity for the live archive jobs okay so uh, there are two options uh, we can create a, a archive entity one is to create an archive entity manually and other ways to create an archive entity automatically so we'll see uh, one by one so let's uh, create an archive entity manually first uh, go back to uh, enterprise data manager in the edm under the data archive tab expand to the application version for which you want to create the uh, archive entity so we'll uh, in this video we'll uh, demo for the info demo application version and this is the model the schema which i want to create an entity so right click on the uh, module and click on new entity provide the uh, entity name i'll just give it as archive underscore demo click on next and then finish you can see here uh, entity is created with the default interim table and once it is uh, uh, created you right click on that entity and add the tables to the archive entity right click and select insert table to add the tables here you can add the tables for available for that particular schema <coughs> select the tables and click on uh, down arrow to select them and click finish to add them to the entity then select the uh, interim table and go to default columns you need to add the uh, driving table primary key columns here add a add a column if there are multiple columns you need to add all the columns so for this uh, entity i have a driving table employee and the uh, uh, child table as dependent so in my driving table id is the column which has the primary key so, so add this uh, column and select the type of the column okay if it is a primary key select if it is a primary key <coughs> and in the prom clause in the from clause you need to add the uh, schema name uh, dot table name and if you want to give the alias name you can give the alias name so i'll add this is my schema and uh, employee is my driving table and giving it a, a as a alias name for it and you can also add the where clause um, this is a primary filter where clause uh, which will be done on source table uh, while inserting uh, the records into the interim table so i'll just uh, put where a dot id is greater than 100 so my primary filter is to uh, archive all the records which are greater than 100 okay so click ok and once it is added you need to uh, refer to the uh, source table uh, primary key column so i'll add it here a dot id okay so once the column uh, primary key columns are added then you need to select the purgeable flag so if the purgeable flag is set to y then all the records will be recorded for which uh, uh, purgeable flag is set to y and all are archived okay if the purgeable flag is not set to y then that record will be skipped from archiving 
if you have any business roles to define uh, if you have any additional filter conditions after our uh, inserting into interim table and you want to filter out then you need to define the business roles here in the business roles option and if you define any business roles then you need to uh, remove this uh, archive procedural flag uh, uh, option here from here because from the per business roles based on the business role condition you will be setting this uh, column flag to uh, either y or n n means uh, the, it will not be archived y means it will be archived so since i don't have any business roles in this demo so i will set uh, the procedural flag to y to archive all the records which are inserted into interim table okay so once these default columns are added and business roles are defined if you have any then you need to switch back to table tab add the tables to uh, the interim table click on plus button to add so i have uh, two tables to add so i'll just add them once you add the table you need to provide the uh, insert and delete statement condition on uh, which uh, base the uh, tables to be archived from source to destination this insert statement is to insert the records in the uh, destination table and uh, delete statement is to delete the uh, source tables source table records okay so this is just a var clause you need to provide <coughs> so let's give the var clause so i'll give the uh, where clause something like this this is uh, where uh, a dot id is a is the alias name for the employee table then a dot id in then select x dot id from the interim table interim table alias name is x where uh, per jewel flag is equal to one so um, whichever uh, records per jewel flag is y and that id is present in the source uh, needs to be archived so I will put the same condition uh, for the delete statement as well because I want to delete the records which is archived. Okay, then click on OK. Same way we need to provide the uh, insert and delete statement for the child. Uh, insert and delete statements are something like this. So in this uh, it will uh, get the employee ID in and then P dot ID from uh, uh, the interim table and then the uh, uh, table employee and check where employee id equal to uh, interim table id and virtual flag is equal to y the same condition i will provide for uh, delete statements so once this is done in certain delete statements are done and default columns are provided and business rules are defined if any you defined then you need to select the uh, <coughs> entity and go to steps and click on insert default steps to generate the uh, steps here you can observe uh, all the uh, uh, steps are enabled for the archive entity uh, the steps will be drop interim create interim and insert interim and then uh, insert into archive tables and delete from apps tables so if you have defined any business roles and uh, then you click after that if you click on steps and insert default step then there will be one more additional step present in this after insert interim table one more step will come update interim table because once the interim tables uh, they are, uh, records are inserted then business rules will be executed and based on the business rules this interim table will be updated the virtual flag will be updated on which uh, records you want to archive and uh, which uh, you don't want to archive okay once all the steps are done then you need to make a driving table as a, a mark as driving table a driving table in the entity so in this demo i have employee as my driving table so i'll make it as driving table and then click on save so when you select the entity and see here you can see the driving table as employee okay this is how we need to create the archive entity manually so the next step is uh, how to create an uh, archive entity automatically so to create an archive entity automatically we need to switch to constraints tab <coughs> to expand the application version and then right click on the application version and select auto create new entities here you can select the schema from which you want to add the tables to create entity and click next then uh, select the type of the tables and click next then select the tables or uh, driving tables for which you want to uh, create the entity i have the employee table and click next 
then yeah, it will ask whether you want to include any child tables to the entity or not. If you want to add the child tables, then select the uh, child table, yes, within the model or across the model. I'll just select within the model and click next and select the type of the uh, child table. Just uh, select all, then click on finish. Then this job will create an uh, archive entity for employee and uh, add the child tables if there are any for this table. Then click on OK. Here you can see the new entity is created and the uh, tables are added. The employee is what we have selected and the employee has one um, uh, child table that is dependent and which is added. And here we can see as we have uh, seen in the manual creation it, we uh, we need to add the default columns and insert and delete statements but this auto generation will take care of everything here you can see the where clause uh, from clause and where clause added here, here we can see uh, uh, where clause is added one equal to one that means all the source table records will be archived to interim table and then from interim table to a uh, destination okay so here we can see by default the virtual flag is set to y that means whatever record is present in the uh, interim table will be archived and you can see the uh, tables all the insert and delete statements are automatically added by default if you want to modify these in insert and delete statement then you can do that on clicking it and then modify it and then click on ok <coughs> and also select the entity and click on steps the entity steps are added uh, automatically from the auto create entity okay then click on uh, and also we can see the driving table is also set as employee okay by default so click on save to save this auto creation entity okay we have seen how to create a, a archive entity manually and uh, automatically so this is just from this video we would love to hear from you any feedback uh, regarding the video will be appreciated you can use either of these links to provide us the feedback thanks for watching have a nice day